What's up, people? On today's episode of OK Off-Road Mowers, we have Magnum back in the shop. It's time for some upgrades, some fixes. So I did a little research, asked some questions, and ended up with a 26 mil carb in my hand. So this one's just going to work a little better for us. We have a lot of adjustability with it, with jetting and stuff. And the 26 mil is just going to match our intake hole a little better. So overall, it's just going to be a better carb for us. All right, so if I actually measure the intake hole on the engine here, I come up with a 26 millimeter. All right, so if we measure the stock carburetor here, we come up with a 26.5 millimeter hole. So we want to actually port match to our engine. So we looked in the box of carburetors that we have. Uh, this style of carb is just like a Makuni carb. It's just a little bit different uh, in the how it looks and how it operates, but the exact same essentially. Anyways, if we actually measure this one, it comes out to the same thing, 26.5. So we know that we're actually going to be port matching and we're good to go. And essentially all you're doing for adding, if you wanted to add a bigger carb is you'd have to make your intake runner hole bigger so you'd have to port match or try and get close if you want to go too big if you go too big it's going to cause issues in your engine you're going to be over fueling and just over everything on it and it's just your engine's just not made to do that unless you do a bunch of other work to it for us we're not dipping into this motor because this isn't tony's long-term motor this is a motor that we're going to try see if we can get it revving a little harder and a little faster and uh, just have a little bit better um control and whatnot and these slide carburetors give us that because it's like on your dirt bike or your quad or something like that you crack the throttle and it works really good so we're going to try that on the lawnmower engine right, so, so let's perfect. actually get into cleaning this carburetor because it's been sitting in my box for a while and we'll show you guys my cool little jetting kit that i have here that is just all amazon jettings but it is nice because we can adjust our main jetting holes bigger or smaller from factory either on the trail or in the garage here, which is huge. We'll be able to make Tony just run absolutely flawless. So let's get right in to clean this thing, and get this thing on the engine because this is closer to fitting, but still not gonna fit right onto that engine. So let's build something, let's get it going. Check this out, all right? So laid down some parts, made a few parts. Still gotta do a bit of welding that seam there and then on this seam as well and then we have to clock these in the right position but one side will weld or sorry one side will go to the engine and then this side will go to the new carburetor mm -hmm. anyways let's get it going let's get this so welded up Taking the old carburetor studs out and doing a little custom work. Riley has been on the lathe, on the welder. All over the place. All over the place. Check it out. It's a full intake manifold. This side, bolt up to the carb. And as you guys can guess it, this side will bolt to the engine. So yeah, that's the new setup. We're gonna paint this, maybe even powder coat it. That'd be a cool idea, eh? That would be a great idea. Damn it, why do we gotta think of things so late? Right. <laughs> we'll see what we do. We'll but, see. Uh, we'll get it on there as is for now and then get it going. But let's go get this bolted on and see what the carb looks like. Let's do it. <laughs> intake all we're really needing is a couple gaskets on either side of the intake manifold and a air filter just some fine-tuning on our throttle cable and gas pedal 
and it's really coming together. So as you guys saw there, we got the throttle cable situated. I ended up lathing a little brass fitting as you saw to actually make it work. Now it works actually flawless. It's so good. So far this is coming along so good. As you guys can see here, it's just great. Loving it. All right, so we're finally back working on Magnum. We had a few issues with the carburetor. All of the uh, gaskets on it were all crapped out because they've been sitting for so long. So we ordered some off Amazon, they just showed up. So we're gonna be installing that and getting the next things going. We were able to get fired up, which was unreal, but uh, it ran like crap and leaked out all of its fuel, thus having the uh, blanket there and whatnot. All right, so let's get that all done and see what it does. Unreal. As you guys can probably see here, towel, vice grips, you know, some fuel was leaking. All right, so that $13 rebuild kit worked unreal. Carburetor fully rebuilt with a bunch of new parts. Let's get this carburetor back installed on the intake manifold and get on our way with seeing if this thing will run. Unreal. Carburetor is back installed. Everything so far going good. Fuel is on, not leaking, so that seems like a plus. We'll be firing up pretty quick. Next thing we actually need to be doing is looking at our choke setup. We have this side mounted choke here on the side, and it's got this little spot here so you can run a cable. So we just gotta find a cable that comes up to here, and then we'll route it into our stock location here so Tony can still use his stock lever. Anyways, that's looking pretty damn good. Right now I'm just doing a little bit of glamour work and painting a few things for Tony and cleaning up a few things, routing the fuel line a little bit better, and then we're gonna start thinking about our filter setup. So we're thinking a 180 silicone uh, fitting that comes loops around back over here, somewhere in the back here, so that we can actually pull some cold air out from the engine here. Should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how to blow a motor ASAP. <laughs> now, obviously, we're not going to be screaming her that hard, no. but he's uh, got the ability to scream her that hard, that's crazy, which man. makes it nuts. So much more throttle response, like. And the ability to make it even better. This thing can be tuned out of TAS, and we can rejet it, all the pilots, and all of the things we need to. Next up is our air intake and the 180 degree bend for our intake pipe. That'll be a silicone pipe on there. All right, so as you guys can see there, we got some piping. So we just went to Lordco, hopped into the radiator section and found some tubing. I uh, don't know exactly what vehicle it's for. You guys saw the numbers there, so you can check it out. So instead of paying like a hundred bucks, there's like sixty bucks, honestly, uh, Canadian, even more sometimes, uh, to find the right bend that we still would have had to modify. We just went over to Lordco there, went in their uh, hosing section, and picked up this piece that has a few different bends for twenty dollars after taxes. It was like seventeen bucks before taxes, so that works out a lot better. I'm gonna start looking for some stainless steel tubing or some tubing that I can use to modify this, but it's gonna work out great. Right now we're honestly just waiting for the mailman to knock on the door. He's out for delivery with the air filter, so this is gonna be perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and start modifying this and get this on the mower, but this is gonna be great. Can't wait to finish this off.
All right, so we finally got the filter in. Took a little bit, but the mailman <laughs> finally showed up. So Amazon pulled through. Again, we use Amazon for a lot of things. It's mm -hmm. a great source of parts and fast. Two days, yeah. I think it was. Yeah, yeah. cheap, quick. This was like, we, we talked about this whole setup last week. Looked in the box of parts, found a carb, ordered parts for the carb. They showed up two days later. We got it all, that all done. Got everything else plumbed in. Ordered this stuff, because we're like, oh crap, we forgot to order filter and piping and stuff. So couldn't find piping for cheap enough, like I said. Found the filter for 20 bucks, ordered that unit, went to Lurgo, picked up the piping, and that's where we're at. So come into here, you guys. Piping actually fits in here beautifully. And we come into, and like the whole plan was to get the intake piping back into this area, because we didn't want it over here. We don't want it down by the tire. It's hard to fit it back into here. So like I was saying before, we do have this port right here that pulls uh, some cold air out of the engine into your intake box. But I'm gonna put a little shroud on here. I'm thinking that will direct air over to our filter. And then basically with all the all this stuff in the way, the tire shouldn't be throwing too much stuff at the air filter. If anything, we can add in a little cover right here for that. But this is all turning out great. Tony's wiring in a, a freaking tachometer, tachometer right, now, right now so we can actually see how many RPMs we actually gain. So it's actually going to be pretty cool. Again, Amazon, mm -hmm. we've got a cool little tachometer to throw in there and actually see what we're actually revving, what our RPMs on this engine is now. Would have been nice to know before, before yeah. so we could actually <laughs> show you guys the exact, but yeah, just from exactly. listening to a rev, the RPMs are a lot higher now. She's definitely yeah, ready to blow up at this point. It's so screaming. That's a win sure. in our books, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to get this uh, fully installed and then fire it up and see what it sounds like. Whew, that's mm -hmm. exciting. Well, people, it's a good day. S stuff works. And, uh, yeah, I got my hour meter tachometer here. We got our air intake and the tubing finalized. So, uh, I'll fire it up for you. Well, so, as you guys just saw, that's if the crazy. tax reading right, I saw forty-two thirty, man. Yeah. And we're gonna, it we're can, gonna. It can go higher, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Instagram, we got it all.